Go. Lab AIDS number 87, changing of equilibrium. La Chatelier's principle, student worksheet and guide. Background. Substances oftentimes react to form products, which then react again to form the original substances. These reactions are denoted as being reversible. The forward and reverse reactions produce an equilibrium state in the reaction. The position of the equilibrium reaction can be affected by changes in temperature, pressure, and concentration. Using Le Chatelier's principles, we can predict the results of the experiment from these changes. Today, in this experiment, we will be changing the concentration in the equilibrium reaction and making observations. In this experiment, we will see how adding hydroxide and hydrogen ions into the reaction between chromate and dichromate affects the equilibrium position of that reaction. During this experiment, we used the following materials. Potassium dichromate. Potassium chromate. Sodium hydroxide. And dilute hydrochloric acid. We will obtain the chromate and dichromate from the potassium chromate and potassium dichromate in this experiment. We will react the chromate and dichromate with the hydrogen and hydroxide from the hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide and see how the equilibrium is affected by this. Now for the experiment. At this point in the lab, we have just finished putting the potassium chromate and potassium dichromate into the collection dish. The potassium dichromate can be seen here in orange, and the potassium chromate is yellow. In this portion of the lab, we added the hydrochloric acid to the potassium chromate and the potassium dichromate. The potassium chromate changed from yellow to orange, while the potassium dichromate stayed orange. This is because the hydrogens from the hydrochloric acid push the equation to the side of dichromate, which is orange. In this portion of the lab, we added the sodium hydroxide to the potassium chromate and the potassium dichromate. The potassium chromate stayed yellow, while the potassium dichromate changed to yellow. This is because the hydroxide we added from the sodium hydroxide pushed the equilibrium equation to the side of chromate, which is yellow. When we added hydroxide to the solution, which we originally added hydrogen to, it pushed the equation back towards the chromate side, making the solution yellow. In this case, when we add hydrogen to the side to which we originally added hydroxide, it pushes the equation back towards the dichromate, orange. The equilibrium reaction between chromate and dichromate is as follows. 2CrO4 plus a hydrogen ion reacts to form Cr2O7 plus a hydroxide ion. When hydrogen ions are added into the reaction, the equilibrium is pushed toward the side of dichromate or an orange color. When hydroxide ions are added to the reaction, the exact reverse happens. The reaction is pushed toward the side of chromate or a yellow color.